Seneca said that, It is not because things are difficult that we do not dare. It is because we do not dare that they are difficult. Self-doubt and negative thoughts are like shadows that follow us, often appearing when we least expect them. They whisper in our ears, telling us that we are not good enough, that we will fail, or that our efforts are meaningless. These inner critics can be powerful and persistent, affecting our confidence and preventing us from reaching our full potential. Overcoming self-doubt and negative thoughts is a journey, one that requires patience, self-awareness, and a commitment to growth. It's about learning to recognize these thoughts for what they are, temporary and often unfounded, and finding the strength to move past them. By understanding and applying certain principles, we can begin to shift our mindset, build our confidence, and live a more fulfilling life. In this guide, we will explore eight key principles that can help you overcome self-doubt and negative thoughts. These principles are not quick fixes. Rather, they are strategies that, when practiced consistently, can lead to profound changes in how you view yourself and your capabilities. Let's embark on this journey together. 1. Embrace self-awareness. Understanding yourself is the first step towards overcoming self-doubt. Self-awareness involves recognizing your thoughts, emotions and behaviors without judgment. It's about observing yourself as you would a close friend with empathy and understanding. Imagine you are standing in front of a mirror, but instead of focusing on your physical appearance, you look deeper. You see your fears, your dreams, and your insecurities. This deeper look allows you to understand why you feel self-doubt in certain situations. Maybe it's because of past experiences, societal expectations, or a fear of failure. Take, for example, Sarah, who always doubted her ability to lead a team. She noticed that her self-doubt was strongest before important meetings. By reflecting on her feelings, she realized that this stemmed from a past experience where she was harshly criticized in a similar setting. Understanding this helped Sarah to be kinder to herself and to prepare more effectively for future meetings, slowly building her confidence. To cultivate self-awareness, start journaling your thoughts and feelings. Write down when you feel self-doubt and try to identify any patterns or triggers. Over time, you will start to see the roots of your self-doubt, which is the first step towards addressing it. 2. Challenge negative thoughts. Negative thoughts can be like clouds, blocking out the sunshine of your potential. To overcome them, you need to challenge these thoughts and replace them with more positive, realistic ones. This doesn't mean ignoring the negative thoughts, but rather questioning their validity. Consider the case of John, who often thought, I'm not good enough to get a promotion. Instead of accepting this thought as truth, he started to ask himself, why do I believe this? Is there evidence to support this thought? He realized that his belief was based on a few past failures, not on his overall abilities and achievements. By challenging this negative thought, John could see that he had many qualities and successes that made him a strong candidate for promotion. A helpful technique is to keep a thought diary. Whenever you have a negative thought, write it down and then write a counter thought that is more positive and realistic. Over time, this practice helps rewire your brain to think more positively. 3. Practice self-compassion. Self-compassion is about treating yourself with the same kindness and understanding that you would offer a friend. When you make a mistake or face a setback, instead of being overly critical, give yourself grace. Imagine that your best friend has just failed an important exam. You wouldn't tell them they are worthless or incapable. Instead, you would offer comfort, reminding them of their strengths and encouraging them to try again. Now, apply this same approach to yourself. Consider Emily, who struggled with self-doubt after being rejected from several job applications. Instead of berating herself, she began practicing self-compassion by acknowledging her efforts and reminding herself that rejection is a part of the job search process. She treated herself with kindness, which helped her to stay motivated and continue applying until she found the right job. To practice self-compassion, try using positive affirmations. Start your day with affirmations like, I am capable, I am worthy, or I am doing my best. Over time, these affirmations can help to shift your mindset from self-criticism to self-support. 4. Cultivate a growth mindset. 
A growth mindset is the belief that your abilities and intelligence can be developed through dedication and hard work. This mindset is the foundation for overcoming self-doubt because it shifts your focus from fearing failure to embracing challenges as opportunities for growth. Consider Thomas Edison, who is famously quoted as saying, I have not failed. I've just found 10,000 ways that won't work. Edison's perspective embodies a growth mindset. He viewed each failure as a step closer to success rather than a reflection of his abilities. To cultivate a growth mindset, start by reframing your thoughts about challenges and setbacks. Instead of thinking, I can't do this, tell yourself, I can learn how to do this. Embrace the process of learning and improvement. When you encounter difficulties, see them as opportunities to develop new skills and knowledge. Take Maria, who doubted her ability to learn a new programming language. Instead of giving up, she approached the challenge with curiosity and perseverance. She sought resources, practiced consistently, and over time became proficient. Maria's growth mindset transformed her initial self-doubt into confidence and expertise. Practice this principle by setting learning goals for yourself. Focus on the effort and strategies you use rather than just the outcome. Celebrate your progress, no matter how small, and remember that each step forward is a victory in itself. 5. Surround yourself with positive influences. The people you surround yourself with can have a significant impact on your mindset and self-belief. Positive, supportive relationships can help to counteract self-doubt and negative thoughts, while negative influences can reinforce them. Imagine a garden. The plants that receive sunlight and care thrive, while those surrounded by weeds and shade struggle to grow. Similarly, surrounding yourself with positive influences can nurture your self-confidence and growth. Consider the story of Alex, who struggled with self-doubt at work. He noticed that his colleagues often belittled his ideas and focused on his mistakes. Realizing the negative impact this environment had on his self-esteem, Alex sought out a mentor and joined a professional group with supportive, encouraging members. The positive feedback and constructive advice he received helped to rebuild his confidence and inspired him to pursue new opportunities. To apply this principle, evaluate the relationships in your life. Identify those that uplift and support you and seek to spend more time with these people. At the same time, distance yourself from negative influences. Build a network of positive, like-minded individuals who encourage your growth and celebrate your successes. 6. Take action, despite fear. Fear is often at the root of self-doubt and negative thoughts. It can paralyze you, preventing you from taking action and pursuing your goals. However, the most effective way to overcome fear is to confront it head-on. Think about a swimmer standing at the edge of a diving board. The longer they hesitate, the stronger their fear becomes. But once they take the leap, they realize that the jump was not as terrifying as they imagined. Consider Jane, who had a deep fear of public speaking. Her self-doubt was so strong that she avoided speaking opportunities, which limited her career growth. Deciding to confront her fear, Jane joined a public speaking club. Her first speech was nerve-wracking, but each subsequent speech became easier. By taking action despite her fear, Jane gradually overcame her self-doubt and became a confident speaker. To implement this principle, start by identifying one area where fear holds you back. Break the task into smaller, manageable steps and take the first step, no matter how small. Each action you take will build your confidence and weaken the grip of fear. Remember, courage is not the absence of fear, but the willingness to act in spite of it. 7. Reflect on past successes. When self-doubt and negative thoughts creep in, it's easy to forget your past achievements and successes. Reflecting on these moments can remind you of your capabilities and resilience, helping to rebuild your confidence. Think of your life as a book, with each chapter representing a different period or experience. Some chapters are filled with challenges and setbacks, but others are full of triumphs and victories. By revisiting these successful chapters, you can draw strength and inspiration for the present. Take David, who often doubted his ability to manage a new project at work. To counteract these doubts, he started a success journal, where he documented past achievements and the skills he used to accomplish them. Each time he felt overwhelmed by the new project, David would read his journal. 
This practice helped him to see that he had overcome similar challenges before and had the tools to succeed again. To practice this principle, create your own success journal. Write down your accomplishments, big or small, and the qualities or actions that contributed to them. Regularly reviewing this journal can provide a powerful reminder of your strengths and potential. 8. Seek professional help when needed. Sometimes, self-doubt and negative thoughts can be deeply ingrained and difficult to overcome on your own. Seeking professional help, such as therapy or coaching, can provide valuable support and strategies for managing these challenges. Think of professional help as a lighthouse guiding a ship through stormy seas. While the ship can navigate on its own, the lighthouse provides crucial guidance and safety, especially in difficult times. Consider Emily, who struggled with persistent self-doubt that affected her work and personal life. Realizing she needed additional support, Emily decided to see a therapist. Through therapy, she gained insights into the root causes of her self-doubt and learned techniques to manage it. The professional guidance she received was instrumental in her journey towards greater self-confidence and mental well-being. If you find that self-doubt and negative thoughts are significantly impacting your life, consider reaching out to a mental health professional. Therapy can offer a safe space to explore your thoughts and feelings and provide tailored strategies to help you overcome these challenges. Remember, seeking help is a sign of strength, not weakness. Overcoming self-doubt and negative thoughts is a transformative journey that requires commitment, self-reflection and the application of key principles. By embracing self-awareness, challenging negative thoughts and practicing self-compassion, you begin to lay a solid foundation for positive change. Cultivating a growth mindset, surrounding yourself with positive influences and taking action despite fear further reinforce your resilience and capability. Reflecting on past successes provides a wellspring of confidence and inspiration, reminding you of your strengths and achievements. Finally, seeking professional help when needed ensures you have the support and guidance to navigate particularly challenging periods. Remember, this journey is not about achieving perfection, but about progress and growth. Self-doubt and negative thoughts may still arise, but with these principles, you will be better equipped to recognize and manage them. Each step you take towards overcoming self-doubt is a step towards a more confident, fulfilling life. Embrace this journey with patience and kindness towards yourself and celebrate each milestone along the way. You have the power to transform your mindset and unlock your full potential. The principles discussed here are your tools. Use them, refine them, and let them guide you towards a brighter, more confident future. Your journey starts now, and with each step, you move closer to overcoming self-doubt and embracing the amazing person you truly are.